So I was going to do page 27, but I can't get there yet because along the way, the otherwise innocent page 26 has a totally wrong interpretation of a very famous legacy, that of Jackie Robinson. Robin DeAngelo, this is White Fragility, says, page 26, the story of Jackie Robinson is a classic example of how whiteness obscures racism by rendering whites, white privilege, and racist institutions invisible. No, the Jackie Robinson story is about the very visible color barrier created by whites. She rests on a story that I never heard that the subtext is Robinson finally had what it took to play with whites as if no black athlete before him was strong enough to compete at that level. No, we learned that there were myriad blacks who were really talented and it was a white barrier against having them play in the major leagues that kept that talent from rising there. There were Negro leagues, they were separate, they were appreciated by most whites. And many, even at the time, would say, gee, the top performers in the Negro leagues would replace most of our white players on the diamonds in the major leagues. But it was institutional racism at the time, in the 30s and 40s. And it was relatively heroic whites who along with a very heroic jackie robinson who knew how much crap he was going to take um more than just crap death threats violence on the field violence off the field staying in low rent hotels while the rest of his team went to the nice hotels in cincinnati and st louis but he being black was not allowed to stay there that's the jackie robinson story and not quite the same level of heroism, but not bad. The white ball players who fought for him and with him when opposing players got in his face. The shortstop, Pee Wee Reese, who publicly was arm in arm with his teammate, even though that was a dicey thing to do. The general manager, Branch Rickey, who brought Jackie Robinson up from the minor leagues because he was talented and could take it so what she claims is the story of a magically gifted black man is a tiny aspect of a story of white racism at the time the story is that a few whites had what it took to allow blacks to play in the same leagues that's the story and it's a story in many other <laughs> sorry ruth pitter early american african-american poet harriet tubman rosa parks martin luther king crispus addicts george washington carver these are people who stood up and by being in a racial minority that was looked down upon at the time stood out as well as up and endangered themselves every month by being in that standout and yes position that made surrounding whites uncomfortable that's heroism jackie robinson fits on the sports side and because of our adulation for sports and because it's so visible he has a a, a place in the pantheon but there's so many African Americans because of their heroism in a society that then didn't recognize their achievements or didn't want their achievements to be blended. They kept them up. It's amazing that somebody who could be writing this book and the editors around her would get the story that, that wrong.